And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. Start out on the ground. It's Leonard Fournette. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. Now, Brandon, that's the way you want to run the football. There should almost be quote bubbles above the offense right now. Bam, boom, biff. That's how they feel good about moving the football. Working with a second and four. Gonzalez out now to try the Panther field goal. This one from 48 yards away. Gonzalez's kick is good. So that Charles a season long right there. And you know who's really excited about that? The special teams coordinator, because he's the one who has to tell the head coach in pregame, this is where we trust him from. This distance, he can hit it, and he repaid that trust by knocking that one right through. Oh, a good return up past the 30. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. Brady going to bring the Bucks up with a first and 10. At the 34. The drive starts with a run by White. And he'll be taken down right around the 34 after a pickup of only a yard. Well, this defense for the Panthers, they were terrific last week in the win over the Rams. I have to admit, I was extremely impressed by what I saw on tape because they stayed in the face of the quarterback the entire game, ended up getting four sacks total. They made it difficult for them to step up and find receivers downfield. Also made it hard for them to escape the pocket and run. So from Panther territory now, it's first and ten right at the 40. Throw there incomplete. 
As soon as I saw him break contain and get outside, my first thought and my hey, eyes gravitated downfield because nowadays, most of these quarterbacks, when they do that, they want the big play downfield. They don't want to throw it short. In this case, he took the shot. It fell incomplete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 28. Again, they'll throw with Brady. Man open, here is Jones. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. Here's White. And he's going to get this back to the three-yard line and no further. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. Here's Brady to throw. And he hauls it in for the Buccaneer touchdown. Tommy Trimble, his first touchdown on the year. And the Buccaneers are able to answer the early three points and take a first quarter lead. Extra point put through by Sucka, and that makes it a 7-3 lead. Now it's Ryan Sucka on after the touchdown to kick it away. This take it in at the goal line. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And last time, able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the draft. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way we do think you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Second down, back to Fournette. And a nice run past the 30-yard line there. They'll try and run for it with Fournette. And this is not going to be enough. Was in search of two yards and only got halfway there. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And that will force a turnover on downs. Brady now on first down. He'll get that out to the flat to White. And he's going to get this down near the 25. And just in general, Charles, on a play like that, how tough is it for the defense to account for a running back essentially being a receiver downfield? It's very difficult, especially if the running back has skills like a receiver, and you're aware of that before the game even begins. So going for Evans, but that pass is intercepted. Picked off by J.C. Horn. And the Panthers will take over here just shy of the 30. It's almost like you can see the look of frustration on his face. Four interceptions last week. We talked about it all week. What did he do wrong? And another one here in the first half. And you can understand the frustration. You actually feel his pain a little bit. But the worst thing he can do is what you're seeing right now. Showing the other team that he's frustrated. All they're going to do is double their efforts to make him even more frustrated. He's got to gather himself, compose himself, and keep fighting. Well, he talked a lot about erasing that loss last week, getting back in the win column. We'll see how. Trying to fit it into more, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Levante David. And the Bucs are going to take possession of the football. He was pretty good a year ago in college, getting outside of the pocket and making plays, but it's a different story here in the NFL. Well, in college, when he broke out of the pocket, his receivers often knew what to do in a scramble drill. And defenders weren't quite as adept at that. In the NFL, 
they work on that as well. They realize once he's out of the pocket, you can knock a receiver down. You can take him out of the play that way. You can make sure you huddle him up and make sure that you have him covered downfield. They do a much better job of it. He's got to learn that the speed has changed on this level. White. Touchdown, Buccaneers. That almost looked too easy, and I think thanks goes to the offensive line for making it look easy. Yeah, I agree with you totally on that one. I'm not sure how much everyone understands the preparations that go into a game for an offensive line because there's a reason that running backs and quarterbacks give them big gifts at the end of the season after a big year. The consistency and the continuity it takes to know each other and execute their blocks is pretty impressive. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. It's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points, CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not have the balls go through goalposts. An incomplete pass leads to second and ten from the 25. Now Corral. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Shaquille Barrett in there to get him. And that is sack number six now for him on the year. Now after the sack, you got Corral and the Panthers here staring at a tough play, third and long. And he will find the open man. It's D.J. Moore. And mark him down way up close to the 40 at the 39. A real letdown defensively. That was third and a bundle. But they allow the conversion. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. On first down, Corral. And I think the ball's out. And the ball ends up out of bounds. So it'll be a loss on the play. The fumble on first down now. Here's second down. Throwing here. Corral. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Picked off by Jamel Dean. 157 to go in this first half on EA Sports. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And the football changing hands here as this offense takes a field. Charles, they'd be fine with more of the same on this upcoming drive. Last time out, they found the end zone for six. And they're certainly hoping for more of the same, but the game plan, I doubt it'll just be a carbon copy of the last drive because I think this offense is ready to break out some new wrinkles and try some new things that might be hidden in their playbook. They want to use that confidence to its advantage while also keeping the defense. He rifles one that's intercepted. And Xavier Woods with a pick. And he will bring this one back. It's a big six for a Panther touchdown. Make it back-to-back -back weeks now with a pick six for him. He had one a week ago. Talk about being in the groove. And what are the odds of what we're seeing right here? You don't see it happen very often. Listen, if you get a pick six in a season, it's been a big year, let alone back-to-back -back weeks. I'll tell you this. I would play cards against this guy in the locker room. <laughs> so they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line. So the same result had he opted for the touchback. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. Still more than a minute to go, so there is time if they want to mount something here. Not only time, but they have three timeouts at their disposal as well, so that changes everything that you're doing here. Without those timeouts, you can only work the sidelines hoping to get out of bounds. Here, the middle of the field is still available because you can call timeout and regroup. The throw on second down by Brady is incomplete. And when you throw as many interceptions as he has in this one, you definitely start getting a little hesitant to throw the ball out wide because that's prime pick six territory. That time, the merchant of the guy was going to catch it. was sitting in the third row. Throwing is Brady on third down. 
And that ball incomplete, nearly intercepted. Took a chance with that one. It'll lead to a fourth down. He gets us away. It's a good one. Drawing toward the sidelines. No returning this one. It sails out of bounds. And they'll spot it right at the 20. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And with him trailing, there is still enough time to try to string a few plays together and maybe get into field goal range. This will be caught downfield by Moore. Finding room at midfield. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Second and ten, Corral. Oh, the Buccaneer pressure too much. Down he goes. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. Now after the sack, you got Corral and the Panthers here staring at a tough play, third and long. He'll drop to throw. That'll be caught by his tight end, Ian Thomas. And he'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. That was no third and two. That was third and 16, but they get the conversion anyway. So first and 10 now from the 30. A first down throw here for Corral. And he's got it. Touchdown, Panthers. Stephon Diggs in the final seconds of the first half. And the Panthers have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. Gonzalez good on the extra point. And it's now 17-14. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. The Bucks' offense set to begin their next possession. And with 10 seconds left, not really enough time to put something together. Meanwhile, Brady's throw taken in by Evans here. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. The final shot before half for Brady. He's got his man, it's White. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. So we've hit halftime, just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. Field goal, the difference. 17-14 is the score. Back underway here now in this third quarter. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. 
But Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. That has been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. A couple of first downs right in succession, and this is an offense that can really use a good drive, and they're off to a fast start here. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Brady gives this to White, and he stopped immediately there. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. And it's a defensive end getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle. That's what we saw right there. Yeah, that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends. They're like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Now Brady. Complete to Jones. And he'll go out of bounds right around the 40. So eight yards on the completion. And he'll go four down and three. Throwing now is Brady. He completes it right side of White. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Rashad White. He scored on the ground and through the air. And the Bucs have retaken a third quarter lead. Extra point up and good by Sucka. And that will make this a four point game. Now it's Ryan Sucka on after the touchdown to kick it away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. And yeah, they'll be working from behind now following the touchdown a moment ago on the opening drive of the half. I think the guys right now, as they go out on offense, they're zeroing in on one big key. They don't have to do anything differently just because they're down on the scoreboard now. The intent, still the same in what they plan to do on offense. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Corral on second down. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Shaquille Barrett able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. That's the second sack of the game. The best defensive ends, they do their homework as much as offensive guys do. They know how to beat the offensive lineman across from them, what moves they need to do to set them up. This guy's been pretty good at it all game long. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Under pressure, they got him again. That's Akeem Hicks, the towering NFL vet, coming in for the sack. Here's Johnny Hacker now, as his first punt will come from inside his own end zone. On oh, the return is Cohen. Good blocking there, nearly sprung him. As it is, it'll go as a 19-yard return. And the Buccaneer offense will be set up well as they take over. Play action, it's Brady. Over the middle, complete into the hands of Tremble. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. For many teams, the evaluation of tight ends has really changed. We used to wonder about how they would block first and foremost. Now we want to know how these guys can run because we envision them in offenses. Catch the ball, how much yardage can they gain after that? And that on display there for a good pickup. The former LSU Tiger, Dante Jackson, on the stop. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, hard to get them started again occasionally. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Here's Brady. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly the part where we're doing a four-minute offense yet, but they get to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on out. Brady's 
throw on third down there is incomplete. Well, Gardner, given where that drive started, that's an excellent job defensively to force them into fourth down. Suckup's kick is good. And they will open their lead up to a touchdown at 24-17. Now a timeout called for by the offense. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. First and 10 for Gitsum set at their 25-yard line. He'll begin with a give to Fournette to start the drive. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. Shaquille Barrett there pushing upfield to make the stop. I think this running game, or should I say lack of one, is making this defense look better than what they really are. On second and 12, Corral. He's going to look deep for more. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. I'm sure this isn't a novel thought, but maybe run some simpler routes instead of trying to get it all back in one shot. Defense certainly appears to be ready for him. Try and get it back little by little instead of a big... Corral is intercepted again. That's number three. Picked off by Jamel Dean. And the Buccaneers are going to take possession of the football. Third and long that time. He was trying to make something happen, but a little too risky. Well, the field tilted on him. And what I mean by that is what you said. Third and long. Got to push it downfield to try to pick up the first down. Defensive backs live for this situation. And they took advantage of the young man right there. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Opting to run again here with White. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play. And we're back now in Charlotte. It's the Bucks. They've got the football. They also are in front here on the scoreboard as we start the fourth. First down, here's White. Looking for a crease, can't find one. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. Now he'll throw with Brady. That caught by Trimble. And in for the Buccaneers touchdown. Tommy Trimble, a beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Buccaneers could be on their way to a 5-2 and two start as they add on to their lead. Extra point put through by Suckup, and the lead now up to 14. Now it's Ryan Suckup on after the touchdown to kick it away. Fields it right around the goal line. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. So now, Charles, this drive, maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Carlton Davis picks it. And the Bucs are going to take possession of the football. Boy, you just kind of feel for him right now. Four interceptions, and you can almost see through his face mask. There's a lot going on in between the ears. There certainly is, and probably way too much, because now he's probably doubting himself a little bit, wondering what adjustments he has to make. But here's what he needs to do. Get through this game. Go to the press conference. Meet it head on and show your teammates you're ready to shoulder what happened today, and you'll be ready for the next game. And if he can do that as a rookie, that's a great sign of maturity. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. They sure put the coverage guys in a stress on that one. They thought he was going deep. Ends up curling inside for a nice chunk of yardage. They'll try to pick this up on the ground with White. And yeah, they will touch him down, but not before he gets the first. Fire! Brady going to throw. Left side here. That's complete to Godwin. 
And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. To throw again on second down. Brady. Right back to Chris Godwin. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 15-yard line. Into the red zone, it's Brady. That's complete out right to the tight end, Tremble. Touchdown! The fourth touchdown pass of the game for Tom Brady. And the Buccaneers look like they're going to get back in the win column as they extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. Extra point up and good by Sucker. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Now it's Ryan Suckup on after the touchdown to kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moment where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out. And this is going to be intercepted. Carlton Davis picks it. And the Buccaneers are going to take over at their own 28-yard line. They brought the house that time on the young rookie, maybe a little rattled through the pick. And you have to be prepared for a lot of pressure as a rookie quarterback because most defensive coordinators are going to test you that way. So when you see that, the ball's got to get out of your hands quickly, and that means your receivers have to understand they have to break off their routes quickly as well. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. Second down at four. White running to the left. That's good for a Buccaneer first to pick up of 12 yards. This defense, Charles, they have unraveled here in the fourth. In a sense, it's like they're being pressed, like in a basketball game and they just can't get the ball over half court. I mean, no matter what they do, they can't get off the... And Brady going to be intercepted a third time. Jeremy Chin picks it off. And the Panthers are going to take over a couple of yards shy of midfield. He's at it again, Charles. He had the pick six last week. Not a pick six here, but an interception. Hey, it's another Oski, because that's the word we use when we intercept the pass. Oski tells your team to rally around and block for you. Well, that worked really well last week because he had made it all the way to the end zone. This week, he got Bioski, maybe not a touchdown, but, boy, he's playing really well. Decent start to the drive, but let's face it, they need a lot of things to go right in a short amount of time down three scores. Yeah, they're going to run their two-minute offense here in this game, but this is for future games. Can they get better and be ready for the next time, hopefully with a chance to win? From the 47, it's second and five. On second down, here's Corral. He's going to look deep for more. And he's got it inside the 10. Touchdown, Panthers. D.J. Moore, his second touchdown on the season. And the Panthers have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. Gonzalez able to tack on the PAT. And the lead will be cut down to 14. Now after the touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. Now they are really in the driver's seat here, enjoying this lead late in the fourth quarter. The defense does have all three timeouts, but at this point, doesn't look like it's going to matter much. That throw by Brady, incomplete. Well, sometimes an incompletion is the right play, and he showed that he's learned from his earlier interception on that throw. Instead of forcing it, he just tossed it away. On second down, they'll run with White. 
four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 seconds to go in the game. Here's Brady to throw. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. And sensing the momentum may be changing here a little bit, Charles. Yeah, this defense is going to get off the field quickly, and their offense got them a touchdown the last time they had the ball, so they should get another shot. That'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt, and it will be the Panthers' ball first and 10. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. They have a little bit of time left here, but this one not going to go their way. And this is where, in this situation for me, you just go ahead and run out the clock, shake hands, congratulations, and move on. Because now, <laughs> you're not going to make up for what's happened during the game in this last sequence. We'll see what they do here in this last sequence. Corral to throw. And a dangerous throw there as that's knocked down and incomplete. Blair, they need to get that first down and either get out of bounds or maybe use one of those timeouts. Corral. And he's out of bounds to stop the clock. He gets a first, but just 10 seconds remaining. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chain. Late in the game, defense trying to avoid a big play. He's able to work out of the passing game, turn it into a run, pick up the first, and stop the clock as well. And you know in this situation, everything is spent. The intensity, the thinking, everyone's movement. But for a quarterback, he has to continue to do what we call flat. And this is caught. And he is into the end zone for the touchdown. So they still need a miracle with a clock where it's at, but they get one piece to the puzzle done. Still have hope. Gonzalez good on the extra point. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. So with just a few ticks left, they need a miracle. And this one travels out of bounds. So unsuccessful there on the onside kick try. Brady going to throw here. Looking downfield for Jones. And it's incomplete. They're still throwing to the very end. But now this game is over. Well, somebody lit a fire under that offense.